Hi, I'm Frank Sesno, host of Planet Forward, coming to you from the studios at the George Washington University, and I'm talking today with Robert Kenner. He's producer and director of the documentary, the best-selling, best-viewed documentary, Food, Inc. So thanks for coming and being with us for a few minutes. Thanks, Frank. This is terrific. In your film and in your life, you are now saying, and I quote, you can change the world with every bite. What do you mean? Well, ultimately, we have to take control of this food system that we have. It's a system that's making us sick, and it needs to be changed. You think it's out of control? I do think it's out of control. And uh, why? Well, we're paying less for food than at any time in history, which is a wonderful thing. But this cheap, inexpensive food is coming to us at a very high unseen cost. Uh, it's costing, uh, we're polluting the earth, we're basically torturing the animals, we're being very, the jobs that are producing and processing this food are terrible jobs, and ultimately we're making the consumers sick. Okay, so our focus here at Planet Forward is the Earth part of it, and that's what I'd like to talk to you about here today. Um, what is the impact, as you've seen it, and from your perspective, which is a strong perspective, of our food system on the planet? We talk a lot about climate change, and a lot of our carbon footprint is implanted in those fields of grain. Well, the food system that we have today is basically a brand new system. It's really only been in effect for 40, 50 years. We call it a conventional system, but it's brand new. And we're just beginning to see the effects of this system. It's totally dependent on gasoline uh, and oil. So if you believe uh, that we're going to reach peak oil, this is a system that's unsustainable and can't go on. 20 to 25 percent of our oil consumption goes towards growing, processing, and uh, transporting food. Uh, so I would say that's an unsustainable aspect. Now, in your, food, in your film Food, Inc., you only spend a minute or so actually talking about the petroleum equation here. Why is that? Why didn't you spend more time in the film on that? Well, the film is really about connecting dots to a system that on one hand is very efficient and uh, creates cheap food, but it's trying to show that the system of efficiency uh, and uniformity has taken us to a place that ultimately can't continue, and that this system, like the financial derivatives of selling, you know, mortgage derivatives, at some point this is going to fall off it's a cliff. Collapse. Just you, it can't be done. You it, don't think it cannot be done. All right. So, 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 take me here. If we want to look at a system that feeds us where it's consuming less energy and putting out less pollution and emitting less carbon, what would that agricultural mix, what does that food mix look like? Well, I think that we, we're going to have to use real science to figure this out. We have six billion people on Earth. Today, one billion people go to bed hungry. And we're headed to nine billion by the, by the middle of the century. We're going to be up to nine billion and we're going to have less land and less water. So we have to figure out how to do it. Um, Right now, we have companies like Monsanto who say we can't feed the world without them, but we also can't study their seeds without their permission. So I think we need real science and not science that tells us that nicotine is good for what us. What do you mean by real science? I mean science where it's open to people being able to give real opinions and not have to get permission from companies to study their seeds. So if you were a real scientist and you wanted to study real science and it was yeah. an open system, what would you be studying? What do you want to know? Well, we have to figure out how to create greater yields. We have to figure out how to grow seeds with less water. And we have to figure out how to create an agricultural system that is not as dependent on oil. Here's one for you. The more we have the wealthier Chinas and developing you know, countries in the developing world, and the more we have people following the Western model, the more meat they want to eat. The more meat they eat, the more energy we need, and the more water we need, because that's way off the charts, a cow, right? We eat way too much meat. Uh, ultimately- Have you sworn off it yourself? I haven't sworn off. This is not a film that says <laughs> you have to become a vegetarian. I've been attacked more by uh, members of PETA than any other group because we don't say you have to stop eating meat. But the fact is the planet can't continue uh, if we continue eating meat like we do and the rest of the world tries to catch up to us. Uh, so I think we have to figure out how to drop our consumption. And an industrial animal takes up a lot more energy than a non-industrial animal. So I've, I've tried to swear off industrial meat. What's industrial meat? Basically, we're now growing uh, our animals. Our chickens are raised in football-sized fields with 30,000 chickens that never see the light of day. Uh, they never have 
uh, there's no fresh air in that room. They can't even stand under their own weight. We have tens of thousands of cows in giant feedlots standing in their own excrement. Uh, where we're shipping corn in from far away. So we're using tremendous amounts of energy uh, and tremendous amount of grain. So here's our question at Planet Forward and my last question to you. How can agriculture and all the people who are part of it, which means everybody because we all eat, yep. reduce the carbon footprint of the food we consume? Well, I think we have to ultimately try to eat in season. Uh, which we're now shipping food from all over the world. Try to eat in season, try to eat more locally, try to eat more organically, uh, and ultimately it's going to be healthier for us and it's going to be healthier for the people growing it, and try to eat less meat. Robert Kenner, thanks. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it very much. So, how do you eat? What's happening in your community? Love to hear your thoughts. PlanetForward.org.